So Dennis and I are at the Ryan Dam section on the Missouri River. And as you can see, we're down inside a gorge. We just came across some farmland to get down here. And the farmland is like flat on top. And if you didn't know any better, you wouldn't even know this was here until you got to the right spot. But this is a result of the falls below the dam itself where the water is flowing through pretty good today. There's the facility that controls the generation of the electricity from the dam. And this is some of the surrounding gorge for the river. And there comes Dennis checking out all the information posted along the walkway here. And here's some more of the river downstream. We found a higher vantage point. There we go. Aren't you glad it's not humid here, just hot? Yeah, it's, it's dry heat. It's a very dry heat, but it's intense. Feels like a hair dryer blowing down on you. We're also on, there's, this is actually an island between where the dam split this river. It's called uh, Ryan Island. And this is a zoomed in shot of, I guess what you would consider the more natural part of the falls below the dam itself, which the water looks like it's gracefully sliding down the face of the dam wall. But down here is the more natural part where it's flowing over the natural rocks. And here's some more natural falls, a little smaller, closer over to the electro-hydro plant. So we've left the... Um, Ryan Dam Island area that's down in this gorge where the Missouri River is and just wanted to give you kind of the vantage point of what the upper part of the gorge looks like. So when you get up higher out of these uh, little bit of hills it, it gets flat um, like the Great Plains and grasslands. Okay we Drove a few miles uh, back in toward town, came down a little bit back toward town on 87 South, and then we took uh, Rainbow Dam Road uh, back east along the river. Um, this area is where um, the Rainbow Falls Dam is located. From this side, on the north side of the river, um, you can't really see the water going through or over the dam. Um, you can only see this effect of the dam forming uh, a relatively small sized reservoir. Um, right here is a train trestle. Um, we did cross these particular tracks on up on the plain earlier, uh, and this is where it's coming down to cross the river. Um, so I'm going to do a little scan here. Let me go out a little bit. So this is the reservoir formed by the Rainbow Falls Dam and off there in the distance on that shore is the boat launch Let me center that for you so yeah, right there in the center that's a boat launch okay so there you go uh, stay tuned for more this is the Missouri River flowing through the Black Eagle Falls Dam. And over there is the hydroelectric power station. Are you recording? Yes, I'm recording. 
And then there's where the river goes on down. So from this vantage point, we're up a little bit higher. We're on, uh, we were on River Drive, now we're on Giant Springs Drive, which runs on this section of the river. All right, we've come up a little bit further at the road, just a few hundred yards uh, to get a different perspective of the Black Eagle Falls Dam. And then here, you can get more of the Missouri River flowing down from it. A little island where it had split. And then more of the river. And there in the distance on the right bank is the uh, interpreter center it looks like that we're heading to next so we're in giant springs spring giant springs state park and we came out on this exhibit that says the smallest river runs through it this is the row river it's only 201 feet long and it is considered by the guinness book of world records at one time to be the world's shortest river and it dumps into the United States' longest river, the Missouri River. So it starts over here with the spring and it flows down here to the confluence with the Missouri River, which is over there in the distance. So here is the spring, and you can see there are different parts of it where you can see that the water is bubbling. And then the river makes its short journey under that bridge and into the Missouri. Okay, so this is the much better view of Rainbow Falls Dam. And up here, we were on the opposite side of the river earlier this morning, or early afternoon. And that's the reservoir formed by this particular dam. There's the train trestle crossing. There's the dam. And then here are the falls on the other side. So those are rainbow falls. Uh, there is a set of falls that are submerged under the reservoir known as Coulter Falls, but they're no longer visible. They were only six feet tall and disappeared once the reservoir filled up. And then the Missouri River continues to flow down through this gorge. And I'll zoom in. So you can see there's a little better flowing off into the distance. All right, here's another vantage point from Rainbow Falls up the road just a little bit. And then got a little hill in the way here, but you can see the river going around there. And I believe where the rocks in here, kind of in a zigzag shape, that little area might be where Cricket Falls is happening. Can't quite see them falling over the rocks from this angle, but hopefully there'll be an overlook down that way where we can see them. And then of course the river continues on up the gorge there. All right, so we've come to the end of Giant Springs State Park. The paved road is now turning to a gravel road and it's 
leaving the park area. Uh, but before we finish up the video, we wanted to just show you what we were talking about earlier, how the parts that are up and above the river gorge are flat or rolling grasslands and or farmland. And so Great Falls, the surrounding area, as you can see, is quite flat, favorable for farming, ranching, and so forth. Um, there are mountains, you know, it, not within an hour away, but in the immediate vicinity, it is like this. Other than, of course, the river gorge down below.